Good evening, folks. Ah, here with your Outer World News. Sorry about that late upload. The current time is 9 p.m., May 6, 2013. Got a lot to go over today, so bear with me here, folks. And but while you can, President Obama's advice speech from him at Ohio State University, if you guys want to go ahead and check this out, you know, pretty much telling them not to pay attention and don't listen to the people telling them about tyranny. You are the biggest lying scamminess president ever. Why? Because you're the Antichrist. You don't give two you know what's about the United States Constitution. There's a video out there if you guys want to look it up. It's, it was a few years ago. But Obama's wife Michelle sitting there whispering into Obama's ear saying all this over a stupid flag. And then Obama nodding his head yes. I don't know if any of you all seen that. They don't give a crap about this country. He's the Antichrist. And you know what? The devil hates America because America has freedom. And these come in to tear us apart. And America was also based and founded off of a Christian, you know, off of God, off of Jesus. It's a Christian-based country. There ain't nothing more that Satan hates than that. All right, here we go, folks. Also, NRA elects new hardline leader. There you go. You guys want to look into it. So let's see if he's going to be able to get the job done like the other leader has been doing so far. Other leader has been doing a good job. Also, talk show host calls for armed march on D.C., for July 4th, 2013. I'm talking about a huge group of people going to walk by the Capitol, you know, White House from Virginia, going over the bridge, past the Capitol, White House, Pennsylvania Avenue, all that, and then back down. That's going to be interesting to see. You know, like, that's going to be crazy. If you guys want to go ahead and look into this. It's not Alex Jones, it's this other guy, but, you know, definitely take a look at that. Also, Japan establishes a dictatorship. Japan's also trying to get rid of all of its, uh, um, all of its freedoms you know so if you guys want to go ahead and look into that isn't that pretty much what America's turning into yeah, if you guys want to look into that also press TV global news on the World War 3 news crushing response awaits Israel for aggression against Syria says Iran so if you guys want to look into this it says Iran's foreign ministry spokesman Raman Mah Maman Parzait says Israel's acts of aggression against Syria will not go unanswered and Tel Aviv will receive a crushing response Damascus is pretty much already a re is already rubble but if you guys want to go ahead if you guys know the Bible it says that all the surrounding nations will attack Israel guess we'll see also Tel Aviv will suffer again over attack on Syria Syrian deputy foreign minister more information on it if you guys want to look into this. Also, more on it. It's all from Press TV Global News. China blasts Israel's attacks on Syria admit Netanyahu's visit. <laughs> Even China is not happy with Israel. So if you guys want to go ahead and read into that article as well. Also, Syrian rockets hit Israel-occupied Golan Heights. Syria's firing back, folks. There you go. He and Israel now holding drills near the Syrian border. And from what I heard, Syria is also gathering up troops to run drills. So it is about to get real over there, folks. So we have to keep our eyes out on that. Also, worse than AIDS, sex superbug discovered in Japan called disaster in waiting. That's why you keep give yourself to Christ. Don't go out there cheating, doing all that nastiness. Because there's a reason why all this stuff's spreading. Go ahead and look into that, man. Just craziness. Also, nuclear unclear radioactive materials disappear in UK over the last de decade. Radioactive materials have disappeared in UK over the last decade, huh? Hmm. UK's health and safety executive of the HSE has released papers under the Freedom of Information Act revealing that radioactive materials have gone missing from businesses, hospitals, and universities more than 30 times in the past 10 years. Nuclear event soon? I guess we'll see. Also, what about the 559 pounds of explosives that ended up missing from Montana? And then even though that video, it's like, you know, it's 2011, but all the nukes and stuff that are, and all the weapons of mass destruction coming in through ports in the U.S. Something to keep an eye on. Also, on the Extinction uh, Protocol website, 
Um, 42 Syrian soldiers dead in respondent to Israel strike. Syria promises punishing responses. Um, also down here, um, the serial attack on a military facility was a declaration of war by Israel. Of course, we all know that already. And another volcanic eruption. Kamchata has erupted. So if you guys want to look into that. More and more volcanoes erupting everywhere, folks. That's in Russia, in case you guys didn't know. But a lot of volcanic eruptions. Crazy times we're living in, folks. Also, you know, go ahead and check this out. When Christians become a hatred minority. This is from CNN. You know what, CNN? Screw you. No wonder why you're losing views, you satanic worshipping bastards. Yeah, go ahead and check that out. So, they're bashing all Christians on CNN right there. Also, Somali famine claimed 140,000 children. So, Somali famine claimed 140,000 children. More famines. Just like the 260,000 that have died just recently in Africa. All of these viruses and stuff coming out. These deadly, deadly viruses. We're in the end times, definitely. Also, billions of cicadas to emerge after 17 year absence. Where? On the east coast of the U.S. New Jersey, Maryland, Delaware, Virginia, North Carolina, parts of Pennsylvania, Connecticut, Massachusetts, New York. Billions and billions. Be prepared for that. Ring of Fire is coming. March 25th. Or sorry, no. March 9th through the 10th, supposedly, or the 10th, I think, is going to be the best scene. The solar eclipse. What else is coming in March 9th, 10th? 1988 TA, the asteroid. Keep our eye out on that. You know, also, the lunar eclipse is supposed to happen on May 25th, I think, or 22nd. A lot of stuff going on this month, folks. We've got a messed up world here. Change it. Very interesting video from Journey 344. Um, about an Indian chief, or Native American chief, sorry. Talking about how we're way off balance. And, you know, God and the spirits are not happy. You know, I've always been interested and intrigued by Native Americans. You know, I'm Christian, but always been intrigued by Native Americans. And the way they view things. Because they always want everything to be peaceful. But also, new object of interest, or what? There's like two objects in this video you have to check it out there's like a really bright one that flash 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 and then another one you'll see zoom across the sky up here if you pay attention you can see it I think they're UFOs or something I'm not sure the one kinda looks like a fireball but I'm not too sure if you guys wanna go ahead and check it out leave your opinions on that also Pandora's box part one of two how the universe has a binary code and how this code is now disrupted and uh, or is disrupted and bad things are to come. It's a two-part thing about this. If you guys want to find out how he figured this out in the Universal Code. Crazy stuff, man. I don't know about you. But he said it all had to be created by an intelligent being. The whole universe. Just like God said. God said he created the whole universe, right? Nostradamus prophecy for a great quake in a month of... Or in the month of May. May 8th, 2013. Fire from the center of the Earth. The great earthquake shall be in the month of May. Saturn, Capricorn, Jupiter, Mercury, and Taurus. Venus also, Cancer, Mars, and Zero. Check this out. Dabu 7, what's, you know, Stellarium and all that stuff. Shows that, you know, that one earthquake, the 9.5 while back, wasn't the one to watch for. Because this alignment wasn't there but this alignment is going to be there on May 8th I guess we'll have to keep our eyes out on that you know a lot of stuff going on you know remote viewing talking about a giant earthquake or a meteor you know Farsight Institute same exact thing and then you got um, what's his name um, Cliff High Webbot saying the same thing so you gotta pay attention to that also May 22nd 25th 2013 dates and events to keep an eye on talking about the Illuminati clock and if you add everything up May 25th, they're also doing the March on Manseto on the 22nd or something, but March uh, 25th or something like that, there's like, uh, if you factor in like from the Super Bowl or something like that, it's exactly 322. A lot 
lot of weird stuff, man, in the month of May, I'm telling you. It's like the weirdest month I've ever, ever had to, the pleasure of living through so far. Also, Planet X Nibiru, Clash of the Gods, Last Battle Summary Part 2. First phase of the war. This is from Astral Travel, or Traveler. Always interesting work. Finding out all of Earth's disruptions in its magnetosphere. You know, how our umbra keeps collapsing. And, I mean, there's just all kinds of different things that Earth's going through. You know, one of them is, you know, the magnetic polarity changes and ships and all that stuff but and you know how our atmosphere is shrinking and how the solar wind speed has been dying off really really slow which is not good for earth but um yeah check into that but also worldwide telescope full of Anunnaki spaceships 5 3 2013 this is from my Nick Danger you know this picture Jesus is Lord brother Nick there you go man nice video right here all over Google Sky if you guys want to go ahead and check into this it's crazy crazy stuff man also check this out you guys have to go to Lasco C2 okay and if you look through all of these images all of these asteroids slash comets this is Mercury here okay so a lot of people are trying to say that it was a spaceship but that's Mercury all right and if you look through all of these images all of them you can see all of these asteroids and objects flying towards the sun all of this is the cyclical bombardment and you can look through all of them and find all of these things I mean they're everywhere crazy stuff man I'm telling you just really really crazy stuff also look at this see like I said the cyclical bombardment the highest I've seen it has been the past few days it keeps going up and up and up and up it drops back down, goes back up. I checked it this morning, it was back down to 17 reports. But it was at 67 reports last night. And then all of a sudden, boom, back up to 86 reports. You know, it was at 102 reports, then it was at what? 88 reports, then yesterday night, 67 reports again, and then now again, 60 or 86 reports. Yeah, something's up. And also, we have this. Africa, lots of reports. Australia report. Europe had two reports. Australia did have another report up here. Look at North America. Now, remember what I said in my ISON video about the cyclical bombardment coming in? Cyclical bombardment was going to come in, and when it did, it was going to start at North America. Now, I said that, that most of the meteors would be small, most of the objects and will burn up in Earth's atmosphere. But there is ones that are going to hit, so be prepared. Also, on to Helio Viewer. A lot of sunspots, a lot of activity on the sun. So there is no solar flares as of this time, except for the one from yesterday, as you can see. Everything's still showing up. Also, on to current solar data from NOAA. Not really too much going on. KP Index is up keep our eye out on that you know slight 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 plasma penetration nothing really too major to worry about also cosmic ray density is hovering around a hundred both charts this one seemed to drop off this one's hovering around same mark I guess around that point also Mac Maruto real-time data you know around the same point dropped off it's heading back up so holding pretty steady through there also on to earthquakes and I wanted to show you guys a few of these really really rare ones there you go, Western Texas, a 2.9. Western Montana, Western Montana, depth of 10.5, 11.4, 2.6, and a 2.8 in Western Montana. Okay, look at that. Oregon's got a 2.7. Also, you know, California's already been popping off. But those are rare cranks. Also, Southern Idaho, Southern Idaho, a 3.6 and a 4.2. Also, Yellowstone National Park, Wyoming, 2.8. Is Old Faithful waking up and is she really bigger than what they said? Something's going on over there, folks. A lot of seismic activity to watch out for. You know, also over here on RSOE. You know, I've been watching into a lot of this stuff. Fish die-offs, earthquakes all over here around Yellowstone. So definitely keep an eye out on that, you know. Crazy, crazy times we're living in, folks. So if you guys want to check in all this, please do. All links provided at the bottom. Much love and God bless.